guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. I was really in the mood to make something geeky and soap related at the same time. Before we begin, I wanted to let you know that the labels we are using for this project are dissolvable. As you can see, it doesn't take much and it's pretty much gone. And so for this week's tutorial, you guys learn how to make your very own geeky soap soda cans. This is an easy and fun project that you can make and, of course, the labels will be in the description box below. I wanted to say a big thank you to my brothers for helping me come up with models for each character. The only thing I would have done differently for this project is made the cans slightly longer or the labels shorter. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Some scrap polymer clay, white melt and pour soap base, any fragrance if you want, a mold maker of your choice. I am using Casting Craft. It's not the ideal type, but it's the one I have. A bowl and a stirring stick, soap colorant. For this project, I am using blue, green, pink, and black. Rounded pointy tools and a cutter. You will also need water soluble paper. I got this from Amazon. If you don't have any, that's okay. You can use a normal piece of paper and they're just going to have to remove it before using the soap. On the label, it does say you should print it on inkjet or bubble jet, but I did use my laser color printer and they came out just fine. Just make sure you select a thin sheet as opposed to a normal sheet on the options. I will leave a link in the description box below of where you can download this template. And yes, I did make this. The first thing we're going to do is make our soda can with our polymer clay. Make a thick tube, cut off one end for the top, and pinch the top parts slightly so that they seem like they are angled inwards. Now flatten a piece of polymer clay and cut out a small circle for the bottom part. For the top part, flatten another piece of clay and lay it right on top. And to make the border, roll a thin snake with your clay and place the border all the way around. So far, so good. Now make a dent for where the tab of the can goes. To make the tab, just cut out a small piece of clay and use your rounded tool to make the spaces. Now place it on top of the can. Now you're going to bake it for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once your piece is baked and completely cooled down, Make a mold of it according to package instructions. This brand of mold is not too flexible, so it's prone to breaking. If you have a flexible mold maker, like the one I did for the Slime Monster Soap tutorial, that is definitely a better choice. Unfortunately, the stores in my area were sold out of the flexible kind. Once the mold maker has cured, we will take the soda can out. This brand is prone to breaking, but that's okay since soap is not likely to leak through the small cracks. It will just use some duct tape very loosely to secure it in place. Now to make the soap. Take your white soap base, melt it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds, but keep an eye on it so it doesn't boil. Add some black colorant, stir it to get a gray, pour it in the mold until the rim of the top part of the can and wait about five minutes before going on to the next color. Now place the top part of the mold back on, melt white soap base again, color it with whichever color you want and add fragrance. Pour it all the way to the top of the mold. Let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes before unmolding it. Trim off whatever excess there is at the bottom of your can. Ta-da! Make as many colors as your heart fancies. To put the labels, simply cut the right size of paper, wrap it around the can, and use melted clear or colored soap base and hold it there until it hardens. It should take about 20 seconds or so. These make great party favors. Feel free to make your own designs with your favorite characters. All done! If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see behind the scenes, don't forget to check out my vlog channel, Nerdy Jackie. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, especially Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.